everyone and welcome to the very first episode of my new let's play called Jenna Jones in the Jungle. Lots of G's in there. Yay. Um, <laughs> um, for this let's play I build a, a, um, a new house in the jungle. Um, I just wanted it to be jungle-ish. <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a house on poles. I don't know why, I just like the idea and I especially like this little area here where you can just sit and relax after a long day of digging in the dirt. So um, the house will be on the gallery um, after I test played it. Um, I, I don't even have a name for it yet, I just build it and I really like it. Um, and I decided to do a new let's play because um, I'm also going to use the jungle in my uh, my life as a ghost let's play but i wanted to show it off a bit more because it's such a wonderful pack and um, i'm gonna use it for the other let's play only for the flashbacks which are short little um videos um but you know because those are flashbacks and it all will be in in sepia kind of color it won't show the vibrant colors of the jungle so i thought how about just you know do another let's play so let me introduce you to the main character, characters actually, of this Let's Play. Here you have Jenna Jones. Um, Jenna Jones um, has the archaeology aspiration. I already played with her a bit, so she's already finished the first bit of the aspiration. Now she has to achieve level 4 in um, of, of the archaeology skill. She has to survey for a dick pile and authenticate three artifacts. Um, let's see how about her somology. She has a few traits, of course, she's cheerful, genius, loves the outdoors and is a quick learner. I thought these would be very handy traits for an archaeologist. Um, let's see, she's just reading a book now. She's reading the first volume uh, on archaeology. Oh, sorry. But she's also getting hungry. So how about I just um, make her stop reading? Just put this in your inventory, darling. This is yours. This, 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 not, this did not come with um, the house. Um, and let's fill the bowl and call Doc to eat. So you can also see Doc. Oh, it's already lunchtime. Okay, I'm going to make her, have her make some grilled cheese. Well, that's probably not the best option because she has a bunch of uh, ready-to-go grilled cheeses in her inventory for when she wants to uh, <laughs> go out into the jungle. So um, while she's making dinner, I'll, I'll quickly show you the house a bit. Um, hang on, well, where's Doc? I'm just, I just called him. There he is dog is a hound. What kind of hound is that? Oh, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I can't really see. He's a hound kind of dog. Anyway, yeah, this is dog. Doc, sorry. Um, and he is her, um, her companion. So they are already very good friends. And uh, Doc is, um, oh, hang on. Oh, he's an adult. He's a male. He's a hunter, loyal and sleuth. Um, yeah, so I thought maybe, you know, he can hunt along the way and find nice presents for, um, for Jenna or whatever. I don't know. I just thought it was a good idea to have him be a hunter as well, since we're going out in the jungle. Um, but let, yeah, let, let, like I said, let's just show you the house quickly. Um, this is the garden. Um, this is actually a swimming pool, but I really like the new watercolor that comes with, uh, um, the new pack. Um, here you have a little seating area with a fireplace where you can just relax after a long day. She can obviously also you can also obviously also use the swimming pool. You can just swim in it. So even though I, I didn't put steps in it or whatever, I wanted to look I don't know less like a pool. <laughs> uh, there's another seating area area over here. You here you have that wonderful new grill that came with the pack and the new table. So this is just um, the garden, and up here you have. Sorry, down here you have um, a lovely seating area. I thought this looked really, really jungle-y. So, <laughs> jungle-ish, whatever. <laughs> I, I personally really like it. This is a nice place, especially at night, to just sit and read a book or think about all the stuff you've discovered in the jungle. Um, okay, you when you rent this house, it's actually quite expensive. It, it, it's, I think it's over a thousand simoleons to rent this house. Um, so it is quite expensive, so you, you, your sim will have to have at least a little bit of money. What is she doing now? Oh, she's washing the, washing the dishes upstairs, 
even though there's a sink right here doesn't matter so um yeah if your sims want to rent this house they're gonna have to have a little bit of money but i always cheat money anyway i can't be bothered with money in the sims <laughs> I'm just, I'll just cheat, you know. I'll, I'll worry about money in real life, but not when I play The Sims. <laughs> okay, uh, Doc has finished his food. Okay, so this is the kitchen area with a lovely round table that came with the new pack. And I just added a whole bunch of chairs. I always like adding different kinds of chairs to, um, to a table. I, I always like that look. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> and this is one of the new cabinets. I used a few benches that came with get together because I wanted to use this blue color because it goes so nicely with the walls and the benches that came so the couches that came with the new pack just didn't really match this wallpaper and I wanted to use a dark blue with the white and the brown um, so yeah I went for something else um, a little computer area and here you actually go down to that area that we saw earlier on um, here you have like the main bedroom for whoever I also use some stuff from laundry pack because I just love this and and some of the other other things that came with that pack it is absolutely gorgeous this is from the laundry pack as well I think so um yeah this is uh, the bedroom around the bedroom you have like a balcony where they can play chess or paint so there's lots of things to do here um on the top floor you have a little laundry room um, I can imagine you think if you go on holiday you don't want to be doing laundry but true but you know they're going into the jungle they're gonna get very dirty I just can't stand the idea of not washing your clothes after a very long day in the dirty jungle <laughs> so I added a little laundry room here I want my sims to be clean I want their clothes to be clean this is a little bedroom for kids so if you have kids you can bring them along as well if you um, use it want to download this house later on once I've uploaded it and named it but yeah this is a little children's room and up here we have a bathroom and she just oh I think I have um, let's see gameplay yes autonomy off but she has to go to Lou and she's just not going so just go go darling you need to go to Lou I still need to tell you just go to Lou darling and we'll leave you while you do your business so um, yeah oh and up here um, you have like a box for toys for dogs you have a little cat litter thingy um, and also this um, archaeology workbench um, so you can bring your pets here you can bring your kids here I did not put a toddler bed in here because I don't know I just didn't want to I think and I just can't imagine you wanted to go to the jungle with a toddler oh look a parrot that was nice so um, yeah so this is like like the house um, I obviously want her to go into the jungle and explore a bit, but it's already getting late. So instead, I'll just oh, <laughs> I'll just have them quickly go to the marketplace and maybe get some more supplies, and then she can explore the jungle next day. The next day, I will see you um, at the marketplace. And here we are <laughs> behind the big tree at the marketplace. There's still some vendors about, so let's see if she can buy something. At least the tables are out, but there's no one actually behind them okay what is this oh another flower nice yeah there's all kinds of things that I can buy or should be able to buy if there was actually someone you know selling them but that's not happening hey this is a similar kind of dog as a um, dog um, okay what oh no he's peeing inside oh no or he isn't no he's afraid of what oh look at him what's wrong he's afraid of something I thought he was doing his business inside but he's not oh thank god that would have been bad dog that you, you you can't do that a whole bunch of sims around here i haven't made any of these sims so they're all new i just made her <laughs> i just made jenna oh yeah walk right through the lady why don't you <laughs> she's af he's afraid of something tell me afraid of something okay he need just needs a minute to calm calm himself down maybe i can um what was your problem? Were you mean to dog? Don't be mean to dog. You... Mm. Oh, come on, dog. Don't pay him any any attention, really. He's not worth it. Look, look, she is nice. Yes, be nice to her. Just ignore this guy. The other one is nice. Okay, oh, she's actually getting um, a bit tired. Oh, that's nice. Oh, okay. 
Oh, dog. He doesn't really trust strangers, I think. Oh, no, now they're gonna play. Oh, good. I like you, lady. Yes, you're nice to my doggy. So that's good. Maybe I'll just have a dance for a bit. Go here. And show off your moves. Oh, look at that guy dancing over there. Go ahead, guy. Dance. Can I dance? Yes. I like the new new dance that comes with the pack as well. She's obviously still gonna have to learn it. She hasn't got any dancing skills yet. At least not a whole all though. Yeah, maybe maybe I danced with her before. I don't know. I played with her a bit before. Does she have any dancing skills? Oh, just one. Yeah, so she still needs to learn a lot. Hello, cool guy. Who are you? Dylan. Oh, sorry. Dylan. Oh, if you stand still, I can actually see your name. Stand still. <laughs> Dylan Cabrera. Hello, Dylan. Like your hair, dude. Looking cool. Okay, well, I'll have her dance and I'm, I'm just gonna go check if there are some vendors. Yes! Now there are vendors. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just gonna buy this and I'm gonna buy a couple of these. I actually already have quite a few of these because I um, bought them at home. <laughs> but you know, this way you can see how this works. <laughs> I, I just wanted her to be well, well prepared because I, I played with this sim for a day already and uh, she went to the jungle and almost immediately died in fire. So uh, I had to um, restart that bit. So yeah, I, th I thought next time she goes there, she has to be more prepared. Lightning ins um, insulating powder. Okay, this powder spray provides electric grounding which directs any shocking Salvadorian insects away from your vital bits. Good. Let's buy some of that. What is this? Fire foam? Don't stop, drop and roll. <laughs> this, uh, fory? Foam, sorry. Provides all the oxygen deprivation you need without all the rolling around. Of course, your children cannot use this. It contains chemicals hazardous for their health. But yeah, this is what she probably should have used the first time she went into the jungle and died. She, she, I don't know, even don't even remember how she got fire. All of a sudden, I was just checking up on dog, and then I got a message that she was on fire and she died. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to be better prepared. Plasma bat bait. Would you ever want a box of flies? No? <laughs> if you've encountered Salvadorian plasma bat, you know why. Oh, sorry, why would you ever want? I can't even read today. Uh, toss in the general direction of nearby bats to cause a distraction. Yes. Exactly. I don't want them anywhere near me. That's again that same kind of powder. I've actually already got all this stuff. She's got a machete, so she doesn't need anything else. She is getting very tired though. Um, so I am going to take her back. Oh, just a small hint. Um, when you go on holiday with your pet, there won't be any any food balls or whatever um, anywhere in the, in the jungle. So I placed this one before I came here. And I also made sure that my sim, where is it, has a ball in her inventory, which is now gone. <laughs> she had a ball in inventory. Oh, nah. Now it is gone. I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a new ball in her inventory because I figured, you know, if she's gonna take him um, to the jungle, she she's gonna need to um, feed him as well. So it's a good idea to have one of the small balls in your inventory so you can always feed your pet wherever you go, because there really are no balls in Salvador. Salvador Torado, which makes sense because not everybody has a cats and dogs pack. But yeah, my sim is getting really tired, so I'm gonna take her back home and I'll see you there the next morning. Okay, it's the next morning and in order to get the ball, I actually had to make her travel all the way home. Otherwise, she couldn't purchase one and I really don't want to travel without a ball for the dog. Um, so she had to travel all the way home and all the way back again. But uh, because I had to do that, I um, decided to also um, upload the lot to the gallery. It's now called Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> I thought it was kind of appropriate <clears throat> because the house works, so it's, it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, so she just gave uh, Doc a hug. And now let's see, let's have her go to the jungle. I want her to travel with Doc, of course. Although that can be tricky because uh, the last time I played this, he got bit by a squirrel. And he had 
to be taken to the vet so she had to travel home again so i might actually build a small vet clinic on this lot so that if you travel here with your pet um you know you can take the pet to the vet in this world you don't have to travel all the way home because then you have to end your holiday which is a bit um you know inconvenient so um, after this let's play I'm gonna use this lot to build a little vet clinic it, it'll mean that you'll that I'll have um, one last lot to, to to go to to stay at but then again I'm gonna make a stay at this lot all the time anyway so I don't need all the other lots in my in my gameplay so um, this will be a vet clinic a, a jungle one yeah I think that's a good idea but we have to go to the park oh I'll, I'll, I don't want to um, record this ah but i did anyway i think we're almost there <laughs> if not look at the beautiful green uh plum bot plum bop ah oh, i hate that word i cannot really pronounce it okay yeah but they're doing really well i'll just oh get to know i'll just do a few interactions with him pet oh he's so nice um i'll make him use the potty before we go off ask to go potty you go potty darling and then i can have a look around here anything else we can dig hey hang on yes i can excavate this let's see if she finds something and then of course we're gonna have to go through this here so um i don't know if you went to potty probably doesn't have to go so yeah i'll make her dig here see if she can find something she still has to reach level four of her archaeology um, skill so um, yeah oh she's got quite a few satisfaction points already nice okay go on darling dig 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 <laughs> hello dog yeah she's just digging I think I'm gonna fast forward a bit I'm, I'm not very <laughs> patient as you know if you've seen any of my other let's plays and you'll know I fast forward a bit I'll make my sims work really 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 quickly <laughs> I actually don't think this oh oh no she didn't finish it okay while excavating an archaeolo archaeological site jenna found an unauthenticated knife okay she, well she has to ath authenticate three artifacts so can she do that now does she have to use why does she have two machetes probably because she went back there again okay can i um i probably have to use this first hang on i'll place this in world I probably have to use this table to yes authenticate the artifact i really love this table it's it's really really gorgeous okay let's see what happens this is a knife it looks like a statue i oh, know actually it is a knife with a very very broad blade yes flies go away or mosquitoes whatever you are look at her go Oh, I'm, I'm sorry sometimes you'll hear some hammering in the background um, I think my neighbors are uh, redecorating rebuilding doing all kinds of stuff so and, and I they've been doing it for weeks now <laughs> so there's really not a whole lot I can do I can't just wait for them to stop because then I'll never have time to record anything so if you hear funny noise in the background I apologize there's not much I can do What's my cat playing with plastic? That as well. <laughs> oh well, it happens. But is she almost done yet? No, I'll just do it a bit faster. Go on, darling. Authenticate it. And what is it? Um, after careful analysis, Jenna has determined this artifact is genuine. Yay! Further analysis will allow Jenna to continue to hone her archaeology arch skill. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I can't talk anymore okay I'm just gonna put this back in my inventory and I'm gonna put this away as well okay um, let's see she's very focused good let's clear path with machete not with your hands I, I, I've seen what that does do sims I've seen that in other let's plays or uh, and in the live stream so I'm just gonna use a knife right away I mean really <laughs> yes hack away there darling look at her go yes I can imagine that is, is gonna make you feel very sweaty oh my cat wants something really They're not no one is allowing me any peace this morning ah 
Evil people, evil animals. <laughs> you just keep hacking away. I'll just, you know, I don't know what my cat wants. Yes! And she did it. Let's see. I know we're gonna get one of those cards, aren't we? One of those, whatever. Yes, Doc, go on. Go join her. This is, oh, it's as if he's just gonna wait. Mysterious egg. Jenna is uh, forging through the jungle when she almost trips over a large, strange looking egg just lying on the jungle floor. Who knows what kind of creature is inside? What should Jenna do? Leave egg alone, examine old egg. And hi, um. Higher rocket science skill leads to better results. No. Poke egg with flour. I don't have a flour, so I can't do that. But because it's an option, I'm kind of guessing that, that that's actually what I should do. Haha. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it alone. And I'll probably get this, this, this card again some other time. But I have to make sure I get a... Um, Cosmania Polinus flower. So I'm just gonna leave it alone for now. Okay. Jenna leaves the egg behind. She notices some rustling in the shrubs nearby. A giant creature <laughs> lunges its head out, spearing fire at Jenna. She runs to safety and narrowly avoids getting singed. Again? She already died of fire once. Thank you very much. Oh like a dragon. What that must have been like a dragon. Are there dragons? Wild avocado tree. Yay. I like avocado. Harvest, harvest a tree. I'm pretty sure uh, Doug is coming as well. I'll just call him just to be sure, just to be safe. There he is. Hello. Hello, hello. I'm going to give you a treat. Because you're such a good little dog. Well, not little. But you're just, just, bleh, such a good dog. I really can't talk today. I have to um, try and talk more slowly. Oh, normal trash plant. Nah. I don't want to have anything to do with trash plants. Not now. Okay, is there anything she can excavate here? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Maybe up here. Look how gorgeous this is. There's the bridge that you see also saw in the um, trailer. I really like this the, this place. It looks so beautiful. Can I go in here? I can. Ooh, what shall I do? Shall I go to the temple? <coughs> or go this way? Hey, yikes. Dog has been bitten by a squirrel. Squirrel bites may cause illness. Keep an eye on your furry friend. Not again. Shall I go that way or this way? I'm going to go this way. Haha. <laughs> Clear path with machete. I hope he doesn't get ill because then I'm going to have to terminate my holiday again. And I don't want to do that. I really need to build a vet clinic here. So she can just quickly have him cured and then go back into the jungle if he gets ill. Okay. Fast forward. Let's see. Where is he, by the way? How is he doing? What? Why is he going that way? Hello, hello, Doc. I'm I'm right here, darling. Where are you? Where is he going? Why are you going up there? What's up there? That is so interesting to you. I I'm busy clearing another path, darling. You're gonna find a squirrel in there. <laughs> of course he is. I don't want to know. But yes. She again managed to get rid of all this um, jungle stuff. And we're going to get another card. Ah, oh, I always hope I make the right choice. <laughs> okay. Oh, sloth. I love sloths. They're so awesome. As Jenna runs to the corner, there's a stillness in the air. She looks up and notices a bed of sloths waiting, watching her. Jenna is distracted for a moment and walks into a low-hanging branch, releasing a small band of <laughs> fiery flies, of course, which fly at the sloths and begin to bother them, scorching their fur in spots. What should Jenna do? Um, well, you know, slots are always actually covered with all kinds of animals, aren't they? And they are very... They're adorable, but also quite filthy. So, um... Oh, hang on. I I, I have this. Okay, I had to uh, cut that last bean... Last scene... Last bean... Last scene a bit because my neighbour started to drill. <laughs> and it uh, looks as... Uh, um. I think he's doing some heavy duty work next door. So um, I'm just going to leave you here for now. Um, although, yeah, um, I will be, I will continue to play with her for a bit. And uh, but I'm not going to record the next bit because it's just going to be too noisy with the neighbor doing whatever in his house. <laughs> um, but I will take pictures and I will give you like a short update at the beginning of, of the first episode using those pictures. 
Um, oh, hang on, something's having, happening. Oh, plasma bats. Well, I've got that stuff. I've got that other thing. Okay, good. She's using it automatically. Um, I'm just going to pause here. I will continue playing her for a bit and I'll take pictures. And that's probably what I'll do throughout the series because um, there are quite a few of these Let's Plays on, on, online already and I don't want people to constantly see the same thing. So I will I will um, alternate with um, with pictures. So some bits will be in pictures in which I just give you an update about what's happened and other bits will be um an actual let's play so um yeah let's um i, I i'm very curious to find out what's going to happen to jenna is she actually going to live this time or is she going to die again <laughs> like she did off screen the first time so um yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh, first little let's play of uh, jenna jones in the jungle and that you will join me again next time thank you very much for watching bye